Susan. I'll be with you in a moment. It was such a bargain, I couldn't pass it up. Don't you think it's perfect for the West Indies? Oh, but it lacks your figural makeup for. <laughs> Funny how these hoes lose their shape when I pull them on. <laughs> Just a minute there, Waldo. What is it, please? I'm in a hurry. Where's the police? What police? The plaid suitcase. You had it with you when you came aboard. I, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Are you sure it's not yours? Of course it's not. It's heavy. I wonder what's in it. A uh, trouble. And that's one thing we don't need on this cruise. Now, let's not be hasty. Just smart for a change. Have to see what's inside. <laughs> Money. Money. And all in fifty and, and, and hundred dollar bills. What are we gonna do with it? I got an answer, but my conscience keeps telling me to forget it. I'll bet it's stolen money. <laughs> We'd better report this to Captain Huxley. Whatever happened to that wonderful old saying, finders keepers, uh, you losers. know, there's a bright side to this. Think of all the income tax we don't have to pay. <laughs> Be sure the door's locked. I always lock the door. <laughs> Why do I need him to get my ship out of the harbor? Watch out for that barge. I need a pilot like I need a hole in my stern. <laughs> Captain Huxley, can you spare a minute? Miss Pomeroy, we are trying to take the ship out of the harbor, so will you and Miss Nugent please leave the bridge? Oh, but Captain, this is urgent. There was a pilot here. There's nothing for you to do, is there, sir? Oh. Both of you! I'm sorry, Captain. Captain, you've got to listen to me. Are you sure? Take over, Evans. Yes. No, Chief. You forgot to close the door again. I was sure I did. Oh, never mind that. Now, where's the police? Well, it's... <laughs> well, it... It, 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 it was right here. Y yes, it was right here. Where is the non-existent valise with the non-existent money, Miss Pomeroy? It, it, it was right here on the desk. Right, right here. It, well, maybe... maybe. Mm. It's got to be here. Well, God, this is ridiculous. It certainly is, calling me away from the bridge to play games. Honestly, Captain, there was a plaid valise here. Uh, with thousands of dollars in it. Get me the purser. I know. The door was unlocked. Somebody came in and stole it. Exactly. This is Captain Huxley speaking. Has any passenger reported a plaid valise missing? Oh. Well, that's very interesting. Yes, thank you. See? It is missing. All baggage has been accounted for. See? It's all accounted for. <laughs> what about the valise we saw? Miss Nugent, you never saw one. Oh! <laughs> Give me the bridge. Can we have an earthquake on water? <laughs> what happened? We bumped a sandbar, sir, trying to avoid hitting a tug. We're in the clear now, sir. I knew I should never have trusted that pilot. You, you called me away from the bridge and made us almost sink the ship. Oh, 
Well, I'm, 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 I'm sorry, sir, but I, I, th I thought you ought to know about the valise. Oh, forget the valise. Mm. Obviously, it has never existed. Did you feel that bump, Captain? Yes, it's nothing to worry about, boys. How come you're not driving the ship? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, hello, little boys. We're not little boys. I'm Bobby. And I'm Barry. <laughs> uh, no, G. Mm. A nice plaid bag you've got there. Where'd you get it? From my daddy. Oh, well, uh, what's in it? I can't tell you. It's a secret. We can keep a secret. Won't you show us? Promise you won't tell? Girl Scout honor. Now see what you did, girls. That's no way to talk, Barry. She might be somebody's mother. Well, I will be someday. Right now, let's worry about keeping your frogs locked up. You'd better keep your frogs locked up. They might cause the passengers to stampede. I was sure it was the same valise. Maybe Captain Huxley's right. Maybe we had an hallucination of some kind. <laughs> Maybe we just imagined we saw a plaid valise. <laughs> it's, 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 it's back. It might be frogs again. Well, we'll show Captain Huxley who's imagining things. <laughs> Anderson, tell Captain Huxley we've got the plaid valise and you know what. Oh, no, the skipper's busy talking to a passenger. I can't disturb him. Uh, then we'll wait. Oh, no, we won't. Captain Huxley, Miss Pomeroy is here with the plaid police, and you know what. You tell her to stop disturbing me, or she'll know what. He asked us to wait. <laughs> I have to go to the purser's office. No tricks. I want to see the captain's face when he gets a look at this. I just hope it's not a mirage. <laughs> and Mr. Henry, I assure you, sir, now, I do have a license to captain this ship. Well, 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 that eases my mind, Captain. You know, I like to check up on these things. Well, of course. And don't forget now, we're dining together tonight. Oh, yes. And I hope you'll make it 8 o'clock uh, sharp, because I also like to keep regular hours. Of course. Properly at 8. Yes, mm. sir. You can count on it. Well, I, I think I'll take my nap now. So, uh... Don't go too fast. Uh, I promise you, yes. <laughs> Goodbye. Oh, Captain! Miss Pomeroy, I have just had a very trying moment. Now, do not torture me. But, but Captain, we've got the valise. With the money. If this is another one of your pranks. Oh, no, it's the truth. <laughs> See for yourself. <laughs> It was a mirage. Well, where is it? But, sir, it, it, it's got to be here. Miss Pomeroy, you will not give up, will you? Good afternoon, sir. Have you uh, located the plaid belief yet? Now listen, repeat after me, both of you. There is no valise. There is no valise. There most certainly is. Miss Pomeroy. No valise. Again. There, there is, is no valise. valise. Fine. There never was a valise. There never, there never was, was a valise. valise. Wonderful. Now get back to work. Now get, get back, back to work. work. <laughs> I don't want to hear any more about that valise now. Do you understand? Yes, sir.
I never was. A oh, come <laughs> in. Please don't be mad at us, Captain. We know that valise is somewhere. Where'd it go? <laughs> what well, was here a moment ago? What, what was here? That blasted valise. There is, there is no, no valise. <laughs> don't be silly. It was sitting right there. There, there never, never was a valise. Now cut that out. <laughs> Look for it. There is, there is no valise. No there, there never was a valise. There is no oh, There never was <laughs> Is this the captain's table? It is. But the dining room doesn't open for half an hour yet. Yes, I, I know that. Uh, I was uh, just checking. <laughs> is everything all right? Oh, oh yes, indeed. Uh, everything's quite all right. I probably shouldn't have told you about the police. You must think we're a bit balmy. Well, uh, have you done anything about catching the culprit? Oh, yes, yes. We set a trap. I have my secretary guarding my office. And my roommate is hiding in the closet in case the phantom strikes again. <laughs> oh, I, I see. There's no telling where that police will turn up next. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Henry. I didn't mean to kick you. Oh, that, that's quite all right. <laughs> sorry I'm late. Guess I stayed in the pool too long. Oh, hello. Oh, you gentlemen know each other? We've met. Huh? Oh, yes, indeed. We're constantly bumping into one another. <laughs> Miss uh, Pomeroy and... Uh, Captain Huxley have been telling me an amusing story about a player valise that keeps appearing and disappearing. <laughs> I'm beginning to doubt if it really exists. Oh, it does. I've seen it myself. You have? As a matter of fact, that valise is the reason I'm on this cruise. You see, I'm a private investigator. You are? Yes, I are. <laughs> uh, am. I have a client. A wealthy widow who was swindled out of $65,000 by a clever confidence man. Huh. I wonder why wealthy widows are always so uh, gullible. She <laughs> most of her savings out of the bank, and he took it away in a plaid valise. Are you sure he's on my ship? Positive. And with the valise. Well, do you have a picture of the man you're after? Unfortunately, no. Oh, uh, what a pity. But my client gave me a good description of him. He was about your height and weight. And wore a mustache. Probably shaved it off. I hate mustaches. <laughs> On most people. <laughs> he also carried a cane and wore glasses. He was practically blind without them. The uh, finger of suspicion seems to be pointing at me, doesn't it? <laughs> All those wishing to enter the ship's bridge tournament will kindly contact Miss Pomeroy, the social director. Anyone who can read print that small has excellent eyesight. Well, is there any other description of the culprit, Mr. Ornsby? He has blue eyes. Well, if he'd said brown, I'd be in trouble, wouldn't I, Miss Pomeroy? <laughs> uh, would you care to dance, Miss Pomeroy? Oh, I'd love to. Youth and romance. Yes. Sickening, isn't it? <laughs> this is where I live. Thanks for a wonderful evening, Susanna. Thank you, Dan. See, I wonder if they're really brown. No, they're bluish green. No, I was thinking of Mr. Henry. You know, I still think he's the man I'm after. Well, I hope you have better luck that I'm having with the man I'm after. <laughs> Good night, Dan. <laughs> Good night, Waldo. Mm. Uh, I mean, Susanna. <laughs> mm. 
Nuji, you forgot to lock the door again. Nuji? Send me to the dry cleaners. <laughs> what happened? I was standing guard, and the wind blew the door closed. <laughs> oh, oh, sure. The wind came through a closed porthole, blew the door shut, and then locked it. The phantom strikes again. <laughs> At least he didn't leave his valise this time. Oh, I'll bet he did. It's probably in under one of the beds. Oh, don't be silly. That's the last place he'd leave it. Well, why don't you look? Now, you know he's a lot smarter than that. Look anyway, just to prove how wrong I can be. All right. Watch the loot while I call Captain Huxley. Uh, Captain Huxley, please, and hurry. Keep your eyes on the door. We're not going to let it get away from us this time. Captain Huxley speaking. Captain, uh, this is Susanna. Any news about the valise? Uh, no, not here, Miss Pomeroy. Well, there is here. Miss Nugent trapped the valise by playing possum in the closet. <laughs> in the closet. <laughs> it's sitting right here on the bed. Oh, congratulations. And don't let it out of your sight again. Oh, no, sir. We'll bring it right up to you, sir. <laughs> oh, dear! Yeah. It's gone again. Excuse me while I get in my closet. <laughs> no, gee. This is no time to panic. It's as good a time as any. <laughs> the porthole. <gasps> That's how he got the police out. Uh, who's he? It'd be easy. It'd be easy. All he'd have to have would be a long hook or, 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 or maybe a cane. Mr. Henry carries a cane. That porthole's been closed all night. Uh, now, don't cloud the issue. <laughs> he shaved off his mustache. And he memorized that card on the table. But what made his blue eyes brown? He died. <laughs> contact lenses. He must be wearing contact lenses. A colored one? Certainly. They use them in the movies to make a, a brown-eyed Indian out of a blue-eyed Swede. No, gee, we've got our man. The Indian or the Swede? <laughs> oh, wait till Captain Huxley hears about this. Oh, boy. And due to the keen thinking of both Miss Pomeroy and Miss Nugent, the Phantom at least has been recovered. And I would like to recommend a bonus for both Miss Pomeroy and Miss Nugent. Uh, and a memo. Uh, no, just send that out right away. I've solved it with my help. Yes, I know. That's why I've recommended a bonus for each of you. Uh, may, may we sit down? Yeah, yeah. Now, where's the release and the money? It's going right in the purse of safe. That's a wonderful idea, Captain Huxley. Keen thinking. Only we haven't got the valise. Nor the money. You haven't? <laughs> no, but we have got a solution to the mystery. Kill that memo. Kill the bonus for both Miss Pomeroy and Miss Nugent. <laughs> but, Captain Huxley, we know where the valise is and the contact lenses. And who stole the money? He's the Indian who wears the derby hat. <laughs> well. Now, Miss Pomeroy, I am not going to ask you to start at the beginning because I'm afraid that you might. <laughs> Just answer these questions quietly and in words of one syllable, please. 
Where is the valise? Well, he was wearing brown contact lenses. Splendid. <laughs> And who stole the money? Well, you see, that was how he was able to read that, that card on the table, even though he was really so nearsighted. Uh, and where is the Indian with the brown derby? He took the valise by poking his cane through a closed porthole. <laughs> oh! Oh, the mic! <laughs> Ocean? Middle of the ocean, we're only a hundred miles off New York. It's an overnight swim. Oh, Captain Huxley, please, just, just go with us to Mr. Henry's cabin, and I guarantee you we'll find the valise there. And if we don't? Agree. I might even do the decent thing and loan the two of you a pair of life preservers. <laughs> Hold it, Waldo. You're making a ghastly mistake. There it is. I guess this proves my theories were right. We really did figure it out, didn't we? All right, Waldo. Hand over the bag. Captain Huxley, this happens to be my stateroom, and I'm entitled to a little privacy. Sir, if you have nothing to hide, you can't object to my taking a look inside that release, can you? Not at all. There's nothing in here that would concern you. But if you insist... I do insist. Would you put it there and open it up, please? I As if he didn't know what's inside. <laughs> well, what did you expect? <laughs> you and your theories. <laughs> Would you please accept my apologies, Mr. Henry? And those of my brilliant employee, Miss Pomeroy. Apologize for what? That's Elvis and Lady Elvis. I don't know who you're talking about. Those are my two experimental bullfogs that if, I... If going... that's Elvis and Lady Elvis, then the valise with the money in it should be... the swimming pool. Swimming pool? Th that's what the lady said. Why not the swimming pool? <laughs> After you, Mr. Henry. Thank you very much. Is the coast clear? Hurry up. I'm supposed to be in bed. What happened to my frogs? <laughs> Gee, there must be at least a hundred dollars in there. We're in trouble. Nobody will believe that we didn't steal it. He's probably got the dragnet out for us right now. There's only one thing to do. Get rid of the evidence. <laughs> no! Oh, oh, no, boys, don't. Here, I'll take it. We didn't steal it, honest. I know you didn't steal it. Now, you boys run along to bed. Oh, and uh, you better take your frogs with you. Where's the money? Well, Mr. Henry. I've outsmarted a lot of women in my time. And then Miss Pomeroy had to enter my life. Susanna, how did you know the money would be here? We simply well, analyzed each clue. Any man without a mustache must obviously wear contact lenses. <laughs> Captain, don't you think we ought to lock up the money? And my friend Waldo? Uh, it's gone again. And so is he. <laughs> Not very far this time. Huh? I thought someone ought to keep their eye on the money. There might be a crook on board. <laughs> 